What's up, YouTube? It's your boy DR2727. Shout out my Transformer collectors, 112 scale collectors, whatever you collect, shout out to you. And we're doing another three things. And I said I wasn't doing that many three things, but this is an iconic release, so I had to break this gimmick out. If you don't know, three things is where we say three things we like, three things we don't like after three days of having a figure. And as you can see, this is Takara's Missing Link Optimus, G1 Optimus Prime Reimagined. And before we get started, I want to apologize. I was supposed to have a monthly video, video and I missed March. But I have some videos coming up in the um, finish up April. And they're pretty much going to be all Takara based. So just work with me and I have some content for you guys. So the first thing I like about it is the obvious, right? Like, as you see from the picture, the articulation, right? Like, they've taken G1 Prime, who couldn't do anything, and just greatly improved his articulation. And that is the selling point of this. And it's done really, really well. So I don't want to harp too much on this, but the fact that I actually did have the ingenuity to come up with this and, you know, conceptually think about this and do it. I think what it means is the first thing I like about it. And the second thing I like about it is the elegance. And that's a combination of build quality and how fluid it is to move. Like the joints are tight, the ratchets are clickety. This thing is built very well. I don't think too many people have given it enough props for how well it's built. And it's, it's very elegant. It moves very seamlessly. It's almost like a Flames Toys or 3-0 or how well it moves. And like, you know, maybe it's because of the, you know, easiness of the transformation and design that it, they can make it this elegant. But you see a lot of companies make very well-built products. Most, all the fans toys products are very well-built, but very few of them, if any, are elegant. This is a elegant transforming figure. And the final thing I like about this, and I never mentioned this on my channel, is price. I think those G1 reissue Transformers were going for $40 and up. And I think they actually had a Prime that was like $65, $50, $65 or whatever. And to get the same, basically the same mold as that Prime with full articulation for what, $10, $10 more? I think that that's a home run knockout. I think that, you know, you could argue that those originals, the reissues may have been priced too high. But in comparison, I think it's more than fairly priced. And I think it's also a good job that they gave you two versions, basically the one without the trailer and the one with the trailer. So those are the things I like. Let's talk about things I don't like. The first thing I don't like is they should have found a way to engineer neck into him, a real neck. Because as you can see in this pose, this fake running pose, he can't look up. But when he looks up, it breaks the scope. Yeah, I know it's part of his G1, how he looked in the 84 toy. But with them adding articulation points, they should have added a neck so he could look up and down he can look side and side but he should be able to look up and down like when i was posing him that was like the number one thing i was kind of like uh they dropped the ball on second thing i don't like about this figure is it should have had a double jointed elbow i felt like this was almost as important as the lack of neck articulation with that being 1a and this being 1b there were so many times i posed this figure I'm like oh if it had a double jointed elbow it like that in the head stop it from achieving this full potential it's so frustrating and the final thing I don't like is it should have had thigh swivel. I was debating on that between that and the waist swivel, but it comes with some waist swivel. It should have had thigh swivel, and the way it's designed, there's no reason why it didn't have it. Now, that's not as major of a gripe. It's actually more of a nitpick, but it should have had a thigh swivel with all the other stuff it has. Look, my final thoughts, I think this thing is a B. I'm glad I bought it. I think it's a must-have. I have a couple of more videos to follow up about this and kind of to car as a whole, so be on the lookout for that. But I think that this represents something bigger than the community is giving it credit for. And I think that I've heard they're going to do a Megatron and kind of go down this route. Interested to see how this line is going to go if they do more figures. I think they should. But if they are going to do some, this is a good, a double, maybe a triple coming out the gate. Yeah, so let me know your thoughts in the comments. And thank you guys for watching as always.